congratulations. You know, I mentioned you got an Emmy nomination. You, got, you guys got 13 Emmy yeah. nominations. <laughs> I mean, beyond excited. How many of those are did you specifically get? Because I know thirteen. You, you got all no. thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a lot of them. Two because of uh, actor, and then I was a producer on the show as well. So very that, nice. Yeah. And did you get up early? And were you waiting no. to hear? You did I not get up early for anything. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> Unless there's money involved. So you got. <laughs> not like. Did somebody... <laughs> No, yeah, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, but... I don't know either. Some kind of, like, morning prostitution <laughs> ring or something. But uh, you... you, So you get up, and yeah. then you find out that you're... Yeah, so I looked at my phone, and there were 49 texts on it, so I was like, either it's good news or it's a lot of condolences or right, something. Right, yeah, people going, you got robbed, <laughs> yeah, that kind exactly. of stuff. And yeah, exactly. And I, I looked for my publicist, Erica's text, because that'll just be really straightforward, and it was a, uh, a GIF. Uh, of a uh, Anthony Rizzo, the first baseman for the Cubs. Yes. Now we have this, I believe, and um, <laughs> and it's called a GIF, by the way, just so you know. Yes, it's a GIF. But look at look at this. This is now. Did Anthony shoot this for you? I like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Call it whatever you like. Why? So Why? That, that's good news because a shirtless Anthony Rizzo is always good news. <laughs> you know? Why this specifically, big Cubs fan? Big big cup. Cubs fan, die hard, like I fourth gotcha. generation Cubs fan, and um, I mean, I love all the players. Obviously, Rizzo is incredible. So, is he? Um, it, does he know that you were the way they they, they celebrated? I'm stalking him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you stalking him? Because yeah. oh, well, this is this is interesting information. Okay, we can probably yeah, that's probably enough with the. Uh, yeah. I, feel like, I feel like I'm now showering with Anthony. <laughs> wearing a shirt in the dugout, but I have no objection. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, you don't always have to wear a shirt in the dugout. Maybe, maybe oh. you know, maybe he'd just given his jersey to an orphan or something Let's like that. Let's call it that. So, Let's big Cubs Cub. fan. Huge Cubs fan. That's the way you celebrate it. Mm -hmm. Well, and the Cubs won the World Series, so that's probably a good omen Did. as well. Thank you. You, um, <laughs> you guys had an interesting uh, Emmy campaign as a promotional thing that, yeah. that Hulu did to yeah. kind of alert people to the fact that, and this is, um, this was like a little bit scary because there's women <laughs> in these red dresses what and these bonnets. Uh, just start. I think that's like Runyon Canyon or something. <laughs> just started popping up all over Los Angeles. That's at the movies in, here in LA. So creepy. We've got um, just walking down the street. Look at Did that. you know that they were doing this? Were you a part of this as producer? Not really. I mean, it was a it was a Hulu decision and just to terrorize people. <laughs> yeah, I think it may have scared people into voting yeah. for you. I think so. I think it worked. These poor people just like having brunch in West Hollywood, and then they'd see like twelve handmaids walk by. <laughs> it's so scary, but it yeah, worked. It was a little bit scary. Yeah, I guess it did. Well, it, well, something worked. I don't know if it was that, but it didn't yeah, hurt. That's it for sure. Hurt. As producer of the show, what are your duties? Do you have to do anything, or is it just they just name you producer because they want you? On? <laughs> Um, I was sort of like, I, I didn't want it to just be a vanity title. I really wanted to be involved and I really wanted to learn. And luckily my, uh, my showrunner Bruce and, and EP Warren were really generous and it was a very collaborative environment. What did they teach you? What did Bruce teach you? I think, I think the number one thing that Bruce probably taught me was to ask questions before you start getting angry about anything. I see. <laughs> to like just wait a second before you send like the angry email. Why is this happening? You know, to like just maybe like inquire. To take a beat. To educate yourself. That's what Bruce taught to you? Take a That's beat. all he taught you? <laughs> That's you. And Bruce got an Emmy nomination for this? <laughs> The show is a, it's a, it's a really dark, it's a dark show. I think that, that word may be overused, but it's unsettling. It's I unsettling, think. That's it That's probably is. a better way. It is, I have heard that it is dark, yes. Yes, <laughs> but it can't be like that always on the set. I no, mean, no, we had, we had tons of fun. I mean, we shot in Toronto, um, Canadians are awesome, and uh, they, they actually, you know, as you may know, they, they have, they love hockey. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, most of them love hockey, yeah. yeah. And this is, were you playing by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was not an official game, this was just me by myself. <laughs> uh, no, we, they organized, the crew organized a game between what they called the Handmaids and the Eyes. Um, if you know the show, the Eyes are like the bad guys, and the Handmaids are obviously the good guys. Yeah. And awesome. And, uh, and so the crew played, and they were so adorable and they were very serious about the game, and I'm sure they'd hate me calling them adorable, but they really were. Who won, the handmaids or the eyes? I actually, like, 
don't remember. I think it was the eyes. Oh, yeah. yeah. The bad guys win again. Yeah, yeah. as always. Yeah. <laughs> they were so cute. And I was like the proud mom that showed up with like my jersey and my camera and like made them all like take a photo afterwards together, you know. <laughs> I think people now are reading a lot into the show that maybe you didn't even imagine they would because now our president is Donald Trump. And well, obviously, I mean, it's, it's a made up story, but men are not depicted in in a particularly complimentary way. What do men, do men ever approach you about that? Or what do they say to you when, yeah. when they watch the show? Yeah, it's been a pretty great response from men, actually. And it generally seems to be, uh, you know, sometimes the girlfriend or the wife will get the man into the show, and then they get totally addicted to it. And I've actually been witness to a few arguments. <laughs> about what? Because you know how couples, like, they promise each other that they're going to wait to watch the show so that they watch it together? Yes, we, my wife and I will. Yeah. Yes, we do that. Okay. And it's a major violation. Yes, exactly. Like, I was going to say, do you ever, I, I'd like... rather catch her in bed with <laughs> the plumber or something like that. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. No, yeah. no, for sure. It's like a serious <laughs> transgression. So I've definitely like caught couples like hiding the fact that they may have snuck the show in before oh, really? someone got home. Oh, because they're discussing tense. points with you. Oh, yeah, really? very tense. Do you get? Do you check out of those conversations or no, you're referee? Absolutely, I'm not getting involved in that. My wife, what she does is a different thing. She decides I don't like a show that I actually do like. <laughs> And then goes forth and watches, and she goes, "Well, you don't like that show." It's like, like, "Yes, I, I do show. watch that show." <laughs> yeah, that's a dirty trick. It is a dirty trick. Thank you for saying that. Yes. I'm gonna play this on a on a GIF over and over again. <laughs> Well, congratulations on, on the show. If you haven't seen it, it's a great show. It's called The Handmaid's Tale. It's on Hulu. Elizabeth Moss, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?